Hi guys, today I'll be playing a game in the AMX 50B. Uh, this is unfortunately one of those things that are really really weak in 2024. The main speciality of this tank was the fact that it, was, it had a brilliant gun, it had the capability of unloading around 1.6k damage in a short amount of time, and this hasn't changed. The problem is that a lot of tire 8 tanks few up until five years ago let's say had a pretty hard time of actually uh, unloading that fast and doing uh, and, and having basically good gun handling nowadays most of the, the tanks that you're gonna see on the battlefield even at tier 8 and especially at tier 8 because there are so many of them today um, do have some really good gun handling so this has put in this tank in a pretty bad position. This tank never had armor, right? But the um, World of Tanks was a lot slower and it allowed this tank to actually use its, um, its, its attributes, its firepower, basically unloading really fast, doing quite an, a bit of damage to the enemy tanks in a fast amount of time and uh, doing it quite effectively and doing it fast and furious basically. Now today, unfortunately, World of Tank has changed and um, it's a lot harder for this kind of uh, thing to actually pan out as it used to. You know, so this kind of a clip, right, as you just saw, it's only gonna work if the enemies do have, make mistakes. Fortunately, enemies making mistakes, uh, it's what World of Tanks is built on. So you will see quite often uh, enemies making mistakes, right? And this is where this tank can excel. And uh, unfortunately, I do think that this might be another 15 to 0, 15 to 1 battle. Might be. Just might be. Now we need to see if I can actually go and uh, clip this guy out. And uh, yeah, as you see right now, um, the tank still works, it does what it used to do and it does it pretty nicely. Now uh, the main difference is that uh, a lot of other tanks can do the same. So you need to play a lot more cautious. That being said, uh, at the same time you shouldn't be play too cautious in this tank because it's still a really good tank and at that low unloading doing that damage really really fast and uh, yeah it's still a really good damage dealer let's see if we can get a few extra shots in whoa 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 e100 hello my dear i haven't seen you in a while in world of tanks doing some really good stuff now the problem is that uh, the base is being kept over here. Let's load a uh, skill, skill clip right now. If we do want to get though a bit more today of the game, then we do need to, to push. And this tank works best when uh, you can actually press the enemy tanks into making mistakes and uh, yeah, not letting their brains figure out the fact that this actually is a really weak tank. So if you manage to do this, you'll uh, actually be able to get some good results. If you don't, well, let's say you're not going to have some, some good times. Well, let's see if we can actually support no. Let me do one more sh shot, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, 40 damage done. I do have a pesky panther firing toward me. So, uh, let's just reload for now. Don't 
though we, we do have a good advantage, but the, the HP isn't necessarily all that great into our favor. a bit more cautious today. Oh come on, bloody hell mate, I'm missing. Fair enough, let's run away for now. Don't need to be all that aggressive, just yet. We still have enough time to win the game. I actually think that I should be able to go uh, and uh, try and uh, finish up this guy. Where am I sh getting shot from? That was a mistake. And uh, yeah, I might get just killed right now. That's something unfortunate, but you can't win them all. Still, still have a sliver of health left, so... Uh, let's try and uh, punish this scorpion over here. Oh, he's dead already. Good, so, the AMS AMX-50B, uh, well it's a tank that uh, has seen better days, but as you see, sometimes it can still work, but don't expect it to be the best tank ever, because uh, the, the HP is the pool isn't what it used to be, let's put it like this, and although you do have a kick-ass gun, uh, the enemies do have kick-ass guns as well. So, let's see the final results of this game. Did over here 5.2k damage, uh, I finished uh, third on experience and third on damage. So, we did have have quite a few uh, really good, uh, good performances from our teammates. For example, this Object 40U, this uh, Conqueror. And the uh, uh, 50B did, did work pretty nicely. On the enemy team, well, the 60TP did have a good game, and also the Scorpion, which had that pretty good position, and he punished me as well. So, um, the 50B, well, this tank, like I said, let's talk a little bit about the stats of the tank. This tank does have a 4 uh, clip. It's a, it's a classical autoloader, just a good one, because this kind of a tank does have some really good dispersion and you can improve it with uh, things like uh, improved aiming. So, I, in my opinion, if you do want to fight in the tank, and you should try and fight in this tank, you can also try and snipe, but this is a, a kind of a fighting tank, but you need to basically assassinate uh, alone or isolated enemy tanks, right? Used try and improve the gun, uh, try and improve the vents, the gun uh, with a vert stab, and then uh, improve the aiming because this is a damage dealer first and foremost. The average pen uh, with the standard rounds is nothing to write home about, but you do have 325 with the uh, APCR, so you should try and use those. And um, the APCRs, I think, have. Yeah, 1.3k uh, meters per second velocity, which is pretty good, actually. The AP is around 1k, which is good enough for close encounters, but the APCR is, is a bit better. Now, uh, the rate of fire, yeah, it's an autoloader, so who cares. Then we have the 2.5 seconds interclip reload, which is good enough. It's good enough. It's not the TVP or all the new kids from the block even though the VVP isn't a new kid anymore. And you do have 40 seconds uh, gun traverse, sorry, 40 uh, gun traverse speed, so this moves pretty nicely. 
Also, another good thing about this tank is the gun uh, gun depression. If you do manage to angle the tank uh, at a quite uh, unusual angle, right, 10 degrees of gun depression, you will get some uh, auto ricochets, which is pretty nicely with the, with the tank. Uh, the aim time is also pretty good, and the accuracy is good enough to actually work properly. And also you do have some pretty good average damage per minute, especially for an autoloader. I think it's one of the best in class. So, all of those uh, actually help the tank to, uh, to shine quite a bit. The hit point isn't the best, the whole armor it's non-existent, and also the third armor, let's be real about this. But the good thing is from the front you're not necessarily going to take uh, HE splash damage too hard. The tank does uh, is able to actually ram people. So the 60 TP does have uh, some uh, 60 tons, and uh, this allows it to ram pretty nicely because it has 20, basically 20, per 20 specific power, with a top speed of 65. So you can, if you get uh, downhill and uh, f go towards a light or medium tank, you'll absolutely destroy it. So you should try and use it if you can. The camo is non-existent, so you will be spotted from the other side of the, the map uh, huddling behind the three layers of bushes, so don't even think that you're gonna be able to just stay unspotted and uh, yeah, just survive. This isn't gonna happen. The view range is good enough. So the base view range is uh, 400 and this is actually really good, so you'll be able to outspot quite a number of enemy tanks. So this actually allows you, uh, like in my build over here, to not use any uh, coated optics. And I don't think that you should use coated optics, because in this tank you need to maximize your firepower. So making the gun actually perform uh, really good, this should be your priority. So as you see, I'm just using standard equipment. On the side of uh, uh, what field modes that you should use, I went for uh, speed then uh, aim speed because this for me is a little bit more important the aiming speed uh, uh, towards the enemy tanks just due to the fact that the tank does have 2.5 seconds in the clip reload so just just being able to uh, make that reticle be uh, full fully aimed uh, when you're uh, firing the second or third shot it's really good then i went for the extra view range and a bit of reload time, why not? Although the reverse speed might be pretty nice because the mobility uh, when going backwards isn't the best, it's only 17, so you might go for this, but I do like to have a little bit extra firepower, so this this is a toss-up, whatever you want, you can have it. And also I'm going for uh, some extra bit of um, hit points on the uh, vehicles and also the aim circle size being reduced because this is an autoloader and you need to fire uh, accurately so this kind of a uh, modification allowed me to go to 0 0.3 uh, dispersion which is excellent for uh, for this kind of a tank so yeah that's i think most of the things that i want to show you about the tank let's go for another uh, battle that i had a, a couple of days ago i think and uh, yeah, then we'll wrap up the video and uh, I'll see you in uh, just one second. Alright, in the second game that I'm showing you right now, um, I'm basically playing on Live Oaks, which is a map uh, that I think favors this tank quite a little bit. Now, uh, allow me to actually check the, the, the gun depression that I had in the tank, because I wasn't pretty sure what I'm doing over here. And I also was uh, having the chat with the uh, 60 KPC 68. Now I was keep on looking. Uh, I kept on looking at my uh, PPM and uh, wondering because I, I hadn't really played uh, too much the 50B at this time. So I was getting uh, real custom with the way the, the tank looked uh, and everything worked as well. So. I was just uh, trying to, let me put myself a little bit over here so you can see the, the chat. Alright, so, now uh, I went to this typical bush for a second and then went and uh, started firing at this Pantera, got a few shots in uh, on 
on the Pantera and also the Pantera got a shot on me. So at this point I was, okay, do I need to reload or not? This is the conundrum that you often face when you're playing with your overloaders. I decided to go into the dip and also reload because I should have done this a little bit earlier but I wasn't sure what's gonna come towards this area so now I'm just waiting to be reloaded. Uh, well, luckily, there isn't any kind of other uh, tire 10 uh, tanks except for the for the 215 uh, below over there. And now I just uh, finished up the Pantera, fired one shot in the Terminator tank and uh, two extra shots in the other two uh, tire uh, 8 tanks. So now basically the, the entire the entire tire turrets on this flank are being uh, rolled over and uh, the 215B is all alone. He did got a shot uh, in me, but uh, yeah, what did he do? This tank has paper armor, so the one thing it uh, lacks is his armor. Now at this point our tanks are uh, going mini 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 to try and uh, get the damage in. And this guy is probably just uh, yeah, wondering what he did wrong and why he's already in the garage. 2.5k damage, uh, 5 to 0 in the first less than 3 minutes in the game. I'd say it's a good start. Now let's see what we can do to improve it. I'm up on this hill, I'm almost reloaded and I do want to see if I can get a shot in towards the CS63. It doesn't seem to be the case, so I'm basically okay. I need to go a bit further up the field. Keep an eye out for the 63. Uh, sorry, the CS59. And then uh, finally get a glimpse on his outline, but it's pretty hard to be sure. I fired also one shot just speculatively. Didn't know if it's gonna work or not, but yeah, what can you do? Then I keep on looking. I do want this guy. However, uh, as you saw, the, we had 5 to 0, and now the enemy uh, have uh, basically did uh, what they needed to do in the city. They, they uh, correctly uh, saw that uh, our flank in the city is pretty weak. So, at this point, uh, yeah, they started advancing on that side. I take a few big shots from the enemy tanks, but I'm not gonna be denied, I will unload on this guy. So, uh, yeah, the Tortoise is a pretty dangerous tank, I didn't want to leave it a little damage on the table, so it's a bit greedy, I know, I lost quite a bit of HP, but what can you do? Sometimes that's the choice you need to make. Do I try and uh, get the HP of the enemy team down fast? or I'm gonna let them just advance over there in the hope that uh, I'm gonna get a few more shots in. When you're in a loader you need to be a bit more, um, let's say, greedy. And uh, yeah, even though you take one shot in, you might get two or three in return. So it's, it's, it's good to actually try and uh, always do damage. If you're not do always trying to figure out where you need to go after you've been unloading on one side and go to the next uh, to the next round, then you're probably doing something wrong in your overall. I'm a bit concerned that I might get shot. I don't really have any kind of shots over here. So I need to take a decision. Do I go one towards those enemy tanks? I see that the Udes has decided to push, so I do need to go and uh, help my friend. Because uh, if he goes first, he's gonna be the first shot, so <laughs> it might be a bit greedy, but at the same time, that's the way World of Tanks works, this is the way you should uh, do it. I get two shots in, I get one big shot from the ice 3-2 uh, in return. Now, uh, yeah, I do need to reload once more, and I didn't fire any kind of uh, premium ammo so far in this battle, so... As you see, 5.3k damage in a pretty uh, fast moving game. Now the enemy tanks do have quite a number of uh, heavies on this on this side, so it's you need to 
I needed to be a bit more careful because I don't really have the HP left to, to engage. I fire one shot, I managed to trade track the Super Conqueror. Unfortunately, it manages to go below, uh, behind that house. And now I fire one more. And another one. And I finish up one of the Conquerors. Right. Now, uh, yeah, I'm feeling good about this thing, but uh, my team is, has decided to to cap, so unfortunately I'll only do 6k damage and uh, let's see the final results of the battle and then uh, basically wrap up the video. It was pretty close so you never know, it might have been the, the right option to just cap. So although I wanted a bit more damage, I can understand why my team capped, so hmm. you win some, you lose some. Alright, so as you can see, uh, we do have pretty decent game with the um, AMX 50B in which uh, I did 6k damage, I got the tank sniper and the high caliber so this tank can be actually pretty accurate at least with the setup that I'm using with the improved aiming, some uh, vert stabs and also some uh, vent um, as you saw it was a pretty decent game first on damage, first on experience and also uh, I got uh, just a little bit of profit with um, a premium account. With a non-premium account I would have made a loss probably. So uh, yeah, I think that says it all. Uh, if you fire only standard ammo, you will lose uh, credits with your AMX 50B even when you win. So that's a sobering conclusion, At least, but this is how tire uh, 10 works. So cool. Now, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.